Bang Bang. Welcome back to the Weapon X program. I am your host, Weapon X, and today's video we're coming at you with another gun review. Firearms, guns, weapons, however you want to say it. Today we got something pretty for you. And for all my Taurus haters, I switched it up for y'all. I got something really nice. I'm gonna do another revolver review. For today, I have for you the Chiapa Rhino 50 DS chambered in 357 Magnum. Okay, Magnum. Hence, Magnum. Alright, Magnum. We'll get into that. First and foremost, let's show that the weapon is clear. As I spin the cylinder, there is no rounds in the cylinder. There is no rounds in the barrel. You can see that. I know you was looking up here to see if the, 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 the round is in the barrel, right? But see, the barrel is down here. This is a special treat for y'all. All right, let's get into it. Chiapa Rhino. This is another weapon I purchased maybe like 2013 when it first kind of dropped. Came out, it was all the rave. Everybody was trying to get one. Superly, overly expensive. Overly priced, in my opinion. Is it worth it? I guess if you want the look, you know what I'm saying? And it does have a crazy look. Yeah, I kind of tapped mine out with the flashlight on it, but I'm going to remove that for the video and just give y'all the full Chiapa Rhino experience. Look at that thing. 50 DS in satin stainless steel. Okay. Walnut grip. That's that pure walnut. American walnut. Nah, that's Italian walnut. I was just trying to give America some credit, but they ain't doing too good right now. Check that out. Look at that grip. You see the rhino on there? <laughs> this weapon was made in Italy by the Chiapa Weapon Group manufacturing company whatever this one's a little dirty because I fired it maybe about uh, two months maybe three months ago before this pandemic started didn't clean it so it is what it is let's start from the top we got another red fiber optic sight up there that really shows really 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 well in sunlight when the sun hit that, it just glow. It just light up. I customized mine. I threw some aftermarket glow in the dark arts and craft paint back there. When you throw this bad boy in the light, let me try and charge it up real quick. But when you throw it in the light and bring it back, cut the lights out, this bad boy glow in the dark cheap alternative if you don't want to buy the actual fiber optic sights okay what can I say about this weapon everything this weapon is just dope just look at that look at that man tell me that ain't style that ain't class that ain't when you see this you be like oh man what's that you know how many looks I get when I go to the range with this right here? Joker's just like, yo, what's that, man? Yo, is that the joint from Total Recall? Yeah, it is. The one from the remake. But I had it before the movie came out. Yeah. <laughs> Got the Picatinny rail down there. You can put your lights, lasers, whatever you want on there. The six inch model comes with the Picatinny rails up top. You can put your optic up there if you want. Whatever. I was going to get that one, but I couldn't find it. Like I said in the beginning, these were super hard to get. That kind of looked like a rhino, don't it? 
They were super hard to get. So when I saw one in the store, I jumped on it immediately. Because I tried to order it from Chiapa themselves, a couple of other places, and BudsGuns.com, ImpactGuns.com, and maybe one more, cheaper than dirt. And all of them were on back order, back order. So one day, I was up in Bayonne, New Jersey, shopping around, you know, just looking, seeing what's new. And I went into my gun dealer, I ain't going to say their name, because I don't know how they might feel if they see this, but they know who they are. What's up, Maria? Peace to you. Peace to your father, John. Y'all always treat me right when I go over there and pick up ammo or weapon or accessories, bags, safes, whatever. Y'all always treat me right, so shout out to them. Walked in the store, looking around, looking around. I saw this one in the display case, just like this. I said, oh man, it wasn't the color I wanted. I wanted to go with the all black, you know, model. I wanted the six inch with the Picatinny rail. But when I saw this, I said, I gotta get it because I don't know if I'm gonna ever see one again. And I never seen one in no one's firearm shop. No gun deal I ever saw had one just sitting there where I could be like, yo, I gotta get that. So I saw it, I said, oh, Maria, let me see that, let me see that. You're like, oh, okay, Robert, let me, let me get it out for you. Got the key, pulled it out, put it in my hand immediately. And I should have, you know, haggled with it a little bit more, but got it in the hand. I was like, oh, man, I love this right here. She was like, yeah. And notice, I was like, don't tell me. It shoots from the bottom. Because I already did my research. Once I saw this online, I was like, oh man, I gotta check it out. Went to YouTube, saw a couple of videos on it. It's like, I gotta get one. So I already knew that this bad boy fired. As you can see, the barrel is below the sight. Way below. It's at the bottom. This is where we fire at, right here. The bottom. Usually, you're firing from up here from a revolver, 357, Magnum of any uh, sort, Ruger, Colt, whoever. Taurus, Taurus, <laughs> they fire from up top. These fire from the bottom. Let me open that for you. See that right there? You see that right there? The firing pin is down here. That's where the firing pin is, at the bottom, not up here. And this isn't a real hammer, as you can see. It cocks the hammer. The hammer is built in internally. You see that? That just cocks it and decocks it. Now, I could cock it with this, but you see the hammer goes right back. Technology, man. And if I want to not fire, of course, I can bring it back down right there. Man, let's get into how you eject the cylinder. Usually, you got your, 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 your cylinder release right here or over here. Some even on the side over here, but this one is up here. See how that bad boy fall open? Six shots, a 357 Magnum, or six shots, a 38 Special Plus P. It can handle it. This thing is built like a tank. Not that heavy. Feels good in the hands. Ladies, you know the procedure. Check that out. That thing is just sexy. Sexy. Look at that. Chiapa Rhino 50DS. The DS stands for don't stare. <laughs> Tell me, boy, when I'm at the range with this bad boy, man, I've had all kinds of people come up to me. And one thing about the firearms community, 
It don't seem to be no racism in there. You could be at the range with something nice and sweet. People of all colors, creeds, size, shapes will come. Hey, man, what's that over there you got? Oh, this is such and such. We'll do the same. We'll go over. Yo, what's that? A 308? Yeah, man. Da, 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 FN scar. Talk about the weapon. They'll offer you to shoot. You do the same. Offer them to shoot. And boom. You go on with your day. You just met a little buddy right there. And you never know. You might need him in the apocalypse. But anyway, back to the weapon. Like I said, they got this thing dressed out with the with the um, the walnut wood. This is real wood. This ain't that synthetic. This is that real wood. Check that out. This thing is pretty. Got the cutouts in there and the lighting it up a little bit. Give it some design, give it some flair. Let's talk about the trigger pull real quick. Once again, the weapon is unloaded. There's no rounds in the cylinder. No round in the barrel. Check it out with the finger. Trigger pull. This bad boy is probably like six pounds. Easy. Let y'all see that. Now you seen with the Taurus I did, it was like 11, 12. Nowhere near that. Now let's see that single action. That's probably like a pound. A pound on that single action. A pound, buddy. A pound. Let me let me just do it with this finger so you can see. Nothing. It doesn't even go far back. Look, 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 look where the trigger is. You see the trigger? Watch this. Beautiful. Sweet sweet weapon when i say when you shoot this bad boy there's no recoil i mean there's a little but you don't get no muzzle flip you don't get that bam 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 like you firing a smith and wesson or a taurus or a ruger 101 you know this right here just go back in your hand pretty much because all the energy is down here so it transfers right into the palm of your hand instead of your wrist flipping this just recoils right in the hand so if you got a nice firm grip and you just pow pow and i'm super accurate with this 357 magnum man 130 grain pill coming at you magnum hence again magnum nothing to play with but um, let's talk about the, about the price. Now, when these first came out, they were up there like 1500, 1413, 12. I got this for a steal of a deal. This one right here, 1250. Like I said, this is early when it came out. 1250. Man, I said, okay. Get it to me. I had it with it a little bit, but that was the, the set price, twelve fifty. You know, I got it for twelve. Let's keep it one hundred. I got it for twelve. She gave me a fifty dollar discount and she gave me a box of ammo. Cause like I said, I'm always buying weapons and ammo from them. So you treat your local gun dealer good, they treat you good. Man, I can't stop picking this joint up right here, man. I, I forgot how good this felt. This one right here is a winner. Look at that. So you'll be staring. You'll be like, where the barrel at? Oh, that's a fake joint. And once you see that joint, pow! You see how good that trigger just... See the rapidness? That's double action. That's double action. You see the rapid fire? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. You know what I'm saying? That joint just ringing. Let me check it out. <laughs> Yo. 
I've shot this joint rapid fire before and man, I'm telling you, it's almost like a semi-automatic because it's not a lot of jump. It ain't jumping. It weighs, I'm not sure the weight, I don't remember, but it's light, but heavy enough to tame that 357 Mag. Very, very good weapon. Let me give y'all a good overall look at that. Some people be like, oh man, that gun ugly. And I've heard a lot of reviews say I wouldn't be caught with one of these. You know, I'm a Smith & Wesson guy. But come on, man. Smith & Wessons, yes, are beautiful made weapons. But come on. Tell me the Italian boys ain't do their thing with this. The Chiapa Rhino 50DS chambered in 357 Magnum. Go get yourself one. They also make it in a 357 slash 9mm. Now, if I would have waited some years later, I would have got that model. But like I said, I jumped the gun. When I first saw it, I wanted it. And when I saw it on the display counter, I had to get it. I had to get it. I like to be the first with a lot of different things. Look at that. You see, I'm just holding it up, posing it for you. Look at that. Look, look down them sights. Look how I got my sights set up. You see that? Look at that. I know I got the red on, red contrast in the back, but come on, man. You cannot beat this weapon right here. What else is there to say? Ain't no safety on a revolver, so we can't talk about no safety. Your safety is you. Your safety is your mind, your trigger finger, that's your safety, your common sense. But um, one thing about this, you do got to watch your thumb placement because that blast comes from the bottom. So I found resting my finger on that little plate right there aids me in accuracy and stability. Like I'm able to really get a full grip with control on this weapon. This is a beautiful weapon, man. I had to review this one. The 357 Magnum Rhino. Um, my retirement truck will be the Rhino X1. Do, a, do, do, do some research on that truck, all bulletproof. Nasty. But speaking of 357 Magnums, let's talk about this Magnum right here. This is the Invector Zeus Magnum. Let me take this joint off, man, because on my wrist right now, I ain't going to do this thing all the justice it needs. Because we got two pretty pieces here, man. We got this and we got this. Check that out. You got an additional time piece on the side come on man look at that look how look how bulky that watch is but look how elegant it is at the same time you got the chrome with the brush chrome finished damn look at that joint man damn that joint nice sorry guys this one right here if I'm not mistaken the bulk Zeus Magnum hence Magnum this bad boy right here it's about 500 millimeters you can go deep sea diving with yo this is another time piece right here that is ridiculous read Ridiculous. Man. And it is the reserve model. So it's one of the top notch joints. Check that piece out, man. I know I'm going crazy and rambling and everything, but it is what it is, man. I'm a gun nut and a watch nut. Now look at this joint on the wrist. Now I'm probably like a six and a half, seven inch wrist. Look how that thing sit on the wrist. Look at that. Look at that. Let me throw it the other way so you can really get the full 
fame and glory of this bad boy. This joint is sweet right here. When I saw these, I had to get them. I ain't gonna tell you how many I got. Look at that. You see that piece right there? That's an individual clock right there. Then you got the, the big clock right there. Look at that, man. It's like a 50, I think this is a 53 millimeter. From the crown and the pushers. About a 53, 54 millimeter. Nice brush stainless still. Nice satin. Yeah. 357 Magnum. Invector. Bolt Zeus Magnum. Two Magnums for the price of one. Yeah, you like that. I see you. But back to the weapon. I'm going to close out by saying, listen, man, if you like exotic weapons, you like stuff that's crazy, bizarre, out of this world, eye catchers, head turners, get yourself something different, man. Don't get what everybody else got, man. If you got the money, you know, go get you a custom-made joint, you know. I got a couple of partners that like the custom-made joints, and that's fly. You know what I mean? That's that fly boy sneak me, all right? So for all my fly boys that like to get pretty and like to be at the range and stun a little bit, man, go get yourself whatever you want. But for me, I like my weapons like I like my cars and my women. Foreign, all right? <laughs> so, yo, on that note, man, I'm going to say love, peace, and pistol grease. Yo, y'all be easy out there, man, with this pandemic. Spend time with your family. Do something nice for somebody today. Tell somebody you love them. And I'm going to see y'all later on the flip side. Y'all on the welcome to the Weapon X program, man. I welcome all y'all. Like, share, subscribe. Spread it out, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm looking, man. My subscribers is looking kind of weak, man. All the people I know, y'all say y'all my friend. Y'all love me when y'all see me. Man, subscribe to my joint, man. Because if y'all got a channel, I'm going to subscribe to yours, man. That's how we get this thing moving, man. We support each other. I support those who support me. You dig? So on that note, peace. This is your boy Weapon X. I'm out. One.